Verse 16, then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked by the Magi, was exceedingly angry and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Beth Lechem and in all its coasts from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the Magi. And so Herod is evil. He's wicked. All the ruling class, they're evil. They're wicked. And so, like I said, this guy, he's not an Israelite. He's not of the seed of Abraham. He's not of the tribe of Judah. And the same thing about the people that are in the land today. They're not of the seed of Abraham. They're not of the tribe of Judah. They're not Israelites. But they've been set up by the ruling class. <laughs> and so, the scripture just backs itself up over and over again. And so he knew he was going to be gone. And so he's trying to take out the Messiah that's coming into the earth, Yahushua. And so the same thing now. Like I said, our enemies know exactly what we know. They, 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 they listening to us. They waking up. <laughs> and this, it's crazy, but they probably getting a lot of their information from us. But we have to be out here we have to teach we have to speak we can't be afraid and so they're listening to us but at the same time the scriptures have to be fulfilled so all the prophets before us that went before us that taught all of israel we have to do what we have to do we can't be afraid of the results or you know somebody killing us or taking us out because that's what's getting ready to happen says so he slew all the children that were in Beth Lechem and in all his coasts from two years old and under. He was trying to kill Yahushua. And so that's the same way. The scripture already told us what's getting ready to happen. Satan, the devil, going to make war with the saints. <laughs> he know our deliverance is coming. Like I said, this has been playing out a long time, but now it's coming to an end. According to the time which he had diligently inquired of the Magi. He's like, well, where, where, where is the, that Messiah? So I can go and work. <laughs> he couldn't, the, the Magi didn't tell him. And so he's like, well, I'm going to just kill all the newborns two years old and under. We'll get, we can't, we don't know which one, so we'll just kill them all. And so that's what's getting ready to happen, even with us now. That's why I'm warning us. The Most High is warning us that we got to be prepared because it ain't going to be pretty. It ain't going to be easy. It's exciting, but at the same time, it's serious. <laughs> because we're waking up, this is what's getting ready to happen. And, you know, they're getting ready to do this mark of the beast. They're not going to call it the mark of the beast, but this is how they're going to do everything. And, you don't want to be a part of their system. Oh, they well, they're going to get rid of you. And so this is the attack that they're getting ready to, to, to start against us, to wage their war against us. They don't they hate us. This is what you who said. The the world hates you because they know who we are. We're the chosen people. That's why they hate us. And so uh we just have to. We can't be afraid. We can't walk in fear. We can't live in fear. Fear has torment. The Most High has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Perfect love casts out all fear. We cannot be afraid of anything, anyone, anybody. Hallelujah. Walk boldly. I'm serious. The guillotine. <laughs> They're going to use fear tactics, talk about terrorism, uh, public crucifixion, same way it was then and same way it's going to be again. And they're going to use the guillotine. Everybody going to see, put you on the guillotine. Y'all, you, you, you sure you don't want to take this mark? All right, line them up. And so this is what we're going to have to be prepared to face, laying down our life for the kingdom. Say you want to follow the most high. 
Say you want to follow Yahushua, you better be willing and ready to lay down your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 17. 